guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I'm going to piggyback a little bit on the last one I did with the Sherwin Williams uh, HGTV Infinity. This guy right here, the base C, the semi gloss. I I was playing with it more even off camera, and it, the conclusion definitely is that it was the court that I had that was making the starry intergalactic effect. So I have put that court in timeout on my shelf and I might revisit it again in a few months or not. We'll see. We're just going to go with the gallon because it seems to be perfect. And I absolutely love this pouring medium and you'll see me using it in future videos. And I absolutely don't want that to confuse anybody who's new here. Oh my gosh, what, what base do I get? Should I get this one or should I get this one? The point that of me showing you all of this is that they all work. They all work well. So whatever you can get easily accessible to you and it, it fits in your budget, they all work really well. So today I am going to be using up the rest of my colors I had mixed up with the Sherwin-Williams, the Infinity, the colors I love so much. But I want to see, and I've been testing a little bit off camera, I want to see how compatible it is with the bear because I love the bear and I really love it for pigments because it just makes them shine. If you watched my pigment video, you'll, you would see the difference when I mixed up a couple of different pouring mediums. The I did, I think I did the Glidden, the Bear Glidden, and then the Bear by itself with the Josonia and the uh, Poly Acrylic was just... <laughs> so I have, I already, all of the paints I'm going to be using today are already mixed up and they're almost finished. So I'm just going to do one painting today just to have a little bit of fun and see and show you that they're compatible. So if you have paints that are mixed with one pouring medium and, you know, some mixed with another, why not put them all together? I feel like, you know, the, uh, they should, they should be compatible, which is another reason why I use different pouring mediums and I test them for compatibility because sometimes I have a hundred colors mixed up and I don't know all the time what they're mixed up with. Most of the time I do, but sometimes I don't. And if I want to grab one and another, I just want to, I want to be sure that everything plays nice together. So that was a bit long winded, <laughs> but with that, we're going to go have some fun and, uh, paint with the, both of these bases today. So let's go get started. All right, so today's piece, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I've got uh, these 10 inch Victrola records, old Victrola records that I just taped the back of. I have, I actually have a Victrola upstairs. I got it from my, my mom and my stepdad and it came with just hundreds of these and it doesn't really work well and I looked them up online and they aren't worth anything and you can get them I mean just boxes of them at flea markets which I'll probably do because I love they're thicker than regular vinyl and they're a lot straighter so they're actually a really good substrate so at any rate this is what I'm going to be pouring on today and I'm actually using a different uh, pillow today. I'm since I still have some left of this. Um, if you could see that Sherwin Williams, the color to go. I'm gonna finish this up since I've had it forever, and it seems to be playing nice. So I'm testing it and using it up all at the same time. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But I'm just putting a little bit of paint down just to anchor this. Excuse the mess on my spin my spinner <laughs> I was making something and it just the it turned out beautiful but the um it made it made this awful and I just haven't had time to clean it yet at any rate like I said this is the Sherwin Williams color to go put a little bit on there I'm gonna spread it out just a just a touch I ran out of the my favorite, the uh, Glidden Premium Eggshell. I've, I've still got some in a can, but usually when I pour it out into a smaller container, I like to let it sit and I, I don't have any on my bench. So that's another reason we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. See what happens. 
and the colors today are the same as the last video the my favorite colors <laughs> the atelier interactive red gold the Josonia Aqua, and then the Josonia Dioxazine Purple. And these are all still mixed with the Sherwin Williams HGTV Infinity with Josonia mixed three to one. And if anybody wants to see a mixing video of how I mixed that up, I'm happy to do it. Just let me know in the comments below. And then the two pigments that I'm going to be using are the Bougainvillea the color up primary elements. And then I uh, got a sample of a new pigment that's going to be coming out, the, this little piggy pigment, Meteorite. So I don't, I don't have it, a container of it yet, I just have a sample. But I have, both of those are mixed up with my Bare Josonia Poly uh, mixture that I kind of revealed a few videos back. I'm really liking that, and if anybody wants to see a mixing video of that as well, I am happy to do it. Just let me know in the comments. But uh, with the Bear Josonia Poly, again, I mix it, and this this will all be in the front of this video uh, snapshots of the uh, all the products as well as how they're mixed up. So in case you need to reference that or snapshot it, whatever you'd like to do. And if you have any questions, always you can put them in the comments below, and I will be happy to answer them. So with that, let's get started on this one. I don't have a lot of this orange left, but we're gonna go with it. And usually it, when you don't have a lot left, sometimes it gets a little bit thicker at the bottom. That's all right. We're running with it. Just won't have a lot of orange in this one. Oop, I got a couple of bubbles. Okay. Here's the meteorite. Again, this one is mixed up with the bare Josonia Poly. Gives it a nice consistency. in there. And then the next color is going to be the, the Josonia Aqua. That's the consistency of it. I still have a little bit more left of this, so the consistency is just a, like a hair thinner than that orange, but should be good. We're going to roll with it. And then this Bougainvillea. I don't have a lot left. It did thicken up a little, but again, this is with the, with the bare Josonia Poly. All the paint tube paints are the Infinity. I love this color. It's probably one of my top five favorite um, of the color art pigments. The color. I think I'm going to just try and use it all up. Let's uh, do it a bit more. There we go. All right, got some bubbles I gotta pop right quick. All right, and the last color is the the Josonia Dioxazine Purple. Again, mixed with the Infinity, and the Josonia three to one. to take over so I don't want to put too much on. Much 
should be good. Alright, today's cell activator is going to be my Amsterdam Oxide Black. Mixed 4 to 1 with the Australian Float Troll. Wow, this color to go is thicker. <laughs> I'm not used to it. just a little bit more. Oh, I got a little bit lightheaded. <laughs> Note to self, <laughs> the Sherwin-Williams color to go is uh, a bit thicker than my, uh, the Glidden Premium I'm used to, uh, used to using. So that was a little bit more of an effort to blow out. I got a little bit lightheaded. <laughs> um, and for anyone wondering, uh, the, the color to go is sold only at Sherwin-Williams stores. So uh, that's not something you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. You're gonna have to go to the actual store for that. All right, so what are we gonna do here? Kinda wanna put something right there. And something in there. This way. There we go. Oops, put a little bit of white in there. It's all right. almost want a little bit of white in here. There's a lot of colors, but it's gonna, it's gonna spin out and get lighter. And I messed this up just a little, so we're gonna hide it. <laughs> there we go. Just put a little something right there. Just to kind of fix that. I think that looks good. All right, I will meet you over at the spinner box. It's moving pretty good together. I don't think I'm gonna need any more paint on here. That's what that one looks like. Got a lot of nice bling in there. All right, here we go. Oh, I got some bubbles in there. Whew. That is pretty. I'm glad it lightened up too. Oh gosh, that's really pretty. 
I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's super blingy. Oh, the way I see it. I'm going to call that one done. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get my things under there. There we go. cleaned up really quick and I'm gonna bring you over for the flyover of this guy all right I love that 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 kind of gold in there that's the meteorite it just kind of mixes really well in there my paints were a bit bubbly so if you're gonna see it's not the starry effect it's actually just bubbles because I was impatient and didn't want to wait any longer <laughs> when I stirred when I restirred my paints but this is just gorgeous, and it seems to, uh, the bear and the infinity seem to work well. I'm not seeing any shifting or movement of, um, of cells. And I've taken off, taken off enough paint. So I'm not getting any wiggly wigglies. But that is just gorgeous. The sparkle. I can't wait to see how it dries. I will be back once it's dried to show you the the dried results and we'll go from there. I'll be back in a minute. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece you just saw me do. It dried beautifully, but it did have some issues with the uh, the pillow itself. But overall, the colors are just gorgeous. See in there. over just a touch I'm still <laughs> I'm, I'm quickly reminded why I didn't like the color to go pillow only because I I always have a tendency to leave too much paint on so I do get some cracks in there and because it is cold in here I did get the the dreaded um, circle but I'm going to resin this, so it's going to, it'll be just fine. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I do to fill in some of these cracks uh, right now, just really quick. And then I want to show you an example too of these records, how I like to finish them. So I'm going to bring you down and show you that really quick. All right. So I had, um, I had a subscriber ask me what I do to, you know, if I can show an example of how I fill in these cracks. And I mean, it's relatively easy and you can also embellish with markers too, but this, this is the marker set I got um, from Arteza and it's acrylic, uh, acrylic paint markers, which is what you want. You don't want like a Sharpie. I, it, it, I've never tried it, but I'm told you don't want to use it. But what's nice about these is they have two tips. You can they come with little tweezers and you can take it out and there's a fat tip and there's a thin tip. It also comes with a bag of extra little ones too, but I usually just use the fine tip. And then I'm going to bring this up a little so you can see. Like for example right here. Oop. Get my marker flowing. see that just kind of fill it in and just fill it in just like that and when you resin over it I mean you really can't see it so and sometimes I mean you can even take a, a cool contrasting color too to bring it out it's totally up to you it's your art but that's kind of just a we'll do one more right here so you can see just kind of go along in there and that's really it see I told you it would be quick 
<clears throat> I'm trying to cut down on my video time only because the last few have been pretty long and okay, <laughs> let's ease up a little here. So I just wanted to show you from a different view. You can't really tell where the cracks were now. You can a little, but once you resin, a lot of this will just disappear wherever I put uh, the marker. But I wanted to show you an example of, because those are the uh, 10 inch Victrola records I like to use. And so when it, you resin it, I mean, they're, they're pretty, they're thicker and they're pretty solid and they just, they just look beautiful resin. This piece um, is already spoken for. It's going to its new home soon, but I'll just tape up the back and then sometimes I'll leave it just blank or you can paint the back too. But that's what I like to do with those. So with this guy here, my conclusion is you can definitely mix the pouring mediums, the Infinity and the Bear. They work really well together and it has, I don't know if you saw, it has just a really nice sheen and there's no, uh, I mean, this was, you saw me just pour this there. It dried this glossy. So, I mean, even if you didn't want to resin or varnish it, it you know, if you're doing this on canvas or something that doesn't need to be resin, that's an option too. Cause it's, it leaves a really nice glossy finish. So that's my experiment with, uh, the bear mixed and uh, the bear paints and the infinity paints together. So I hope that you found this helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.